Oh yeah, Macho Dubs is here. And guess what, guys? We just had firmware 5.0. But let me tell you something, brother. Today, you're getting firmware 5.1.0. Pixelcade and CoinOps X updates. Oh yeah. Dig it. Okay guys, we are back and let's take a look at the firmware 5.1.0 update. First thing to note, they did fix the high score issue with Alpine Ski. Alpine Ski was not saving high scores correctly, but this will be fixed in the firmware release. Speaking of Taito, three more Taito games will be added to the leaderboards. That includes Kiki Kai Kai, I'm probably saying that incorrectly. The next one is going to be Liquid Kids. This game is actually kind of fun. I played this on the Gamer uh, the other day. Enjoy this game. Happy to see it on the leaderboard. And last but not least, Lunar Rescue. Lunar Rescue will be added to your online leaderboards. Very, very cool. The month of September is Farsight Studios month for At Games, celebrating their partnership with Farsight Studios. And they have, via some crazy innovation, figured out how to provide leaderboard support for Farsight Studios Pinball Arcade, PBA Pro Bowling, and the soon-to-be-released Brunswick Pro Billiards all on Steam. They will be able to capture the scores off of Steam. We're going to have to test this and see how it works. I have not had a chance to play with this yet, but we're going to make a, probably a separate video for that. Our online bowling, pinball, and pool leagues are just getting started. Now the highlight of this particular firmware 5.1.0 is the updates to the Pixelcade X third-party developer application. I'll have a link in the video description below to my original video showing you how to get the Pixelcade X and the Flash Drive X set up. This is assuming you've already done that step because at this point you're going to have your Flash Drive X that already has your Flash Drive X third-party applications uh, plugged into the legends already loaded all you have to do is go to the flash drive x tile under settings click mount to get it mounted and click download and when you click download it will download the new artwork any changes to the application any changes to the third party application that al over at pixelcade put in i'm going to fast forward here because it does take a minute to download everything it will say download success when you hit the end of the road and now you're ready to move on to the next step let's pull back and show you what we're looking at okay dudes now that you did the download you got the you got all the new artwork package and everything supplied by the third-party application pixel paid x you can go ahead and hit start takes about 10 seconds and after you hit start it's going to tell you that pixel paid x has started you hit dismiss you get a nice welcome message. Welcome to Pixel Kate X, which is pretty cool. And one of the features of the Pixel Kate X update is whatever tile you are on on the screen, that will display up here on the marquee. So spinner flipping page, light gun calibration, etc. So like whatever voice chat. Whatever tile you're on, it's gonna scroll, which is really, really cool. Also, when you look at your games, if you head over to Taito, now that these games got added, Pixelcade X has added artwork for these games. Some of the artwork is animated, and he's also added some other animated artwork for the 350 built-in games. I don't have a list though, you'll have to play around with it and find it. Alpine Ski, Camel Tree, but as you can see, Crazy Balloon, he's added artwork. Now, if there is a game that does not have a image loaded, if there's not a art piece of artwork loaded already, it's just gonna read off the name of the game, which is cool. Hopefully in a future update, any Missy Marquees will be added. I'm pretty sure Al's going to work on that. But of course, we still have our Marquees for our built-in games as well, as you can see here. And 
As you can see, if you comb around through it, you'll find some animated up marquees, like here's one for asteroids, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to comb through all of them. Uh, but for instance, here's Bad Dudes, we know Bad Dudes has one. Boom, right there, pretty cool. All right, now when we head over to our arcade net games, as you can see, the marquee doesn't change. It's, it'll stick on whatever you were on last because this hasn't been set up yet. However, marquees for the arcade net games will be compatible with the Pixel Kdex in the next few weeks. So that will happen. Uh, if you head on down to your CoinOps X, and remember guys, this is for educational purposes only. We're gonna open up CoinOps X. And it takes a minute to load, as you guys know. And as you can see right here, we have our marquee lined up with our game. Now keep in mind, I have my CoinOps X flash drive right plugged in right here. In this port, I have a USB hub, and in this USB hub, in this USB hub, I have my flash drive X flash drive, and also the cable, the USB cable that goes from the marquee to, uh, to the system, I have it plugged into this USB hub as well. So we have our flash drive X flash drive, and we have our uh, Pixel Kate marquee plugged in here in the USB hub. It doesn't look too bad like this. And boom, and of course, as you can see, it does work. If there are any not loaded, it should give us a message kind of like this. If you are using Fans of Sauce uh, CoinOps X, you're probably going to find your, your stuff is already named correctly and ready to go and it'll match up and it'll pull. But there you go guys. Get your animated marquees on your coin ops X, as well as on your Pixel Kate X. Look at that. Now yeah, see right here, if there's not artwork, it'll display that until maybe artwork will get added later on down the road. Got some animated marquees going on here. So yeah, it looks like we do have some animated marquees as well built into the coin ops X, as long as it all pulls the same names. There you go. Also, um, if you pre-ordered the BitPixel LED marquee from At Games because this is the original Pixelcade marquee I got directly from uh, Al over at Pixelcade. This is going to be compatible with that. So the good news is, is they're getting the stuff all set up that way when these BitPixel LED marquees that a lot of people ordered in abundance, when you receive those, it's all going to be compatible. It's all going to work because they partnered with Pixelcade. Whether you have an original Pixelcade or pick up the BitPixel LED marquee, uh, they're all running the Pixel Kate software, guys. So all this stuff is going to be compatible with each other. Very, very cool. Um, also, do us a favor, guys. If you, you know, let us know your comments, your feedback. Keep in mind, too, there's also a BitPixel LCD marquee coming out down the road. But we don't have a release date and we don't have prices yet. So if you're not a fan of LED marquees, if you would prefer an LCD marquee, uh, don't forget, guys, that'll be coming out uh, in the next few months as well. Hopefully, we'll get more information on that soon. Uh, do us a favor. Leave us your feedback. Leave us your comments. As you guys know, I respond to as many comments as I possibly can. Do us a favor as well. Consider subscribing. Help us, guys. Help the channel grow. Show your support. We'd appreciate that so much. And uh, also, guys, give us a thumbs up on the way out if you enjoyed the content. Make sure you check out the Pixelcade playlist on my channel. Everything you need to know about how to get this stuff set up is in there. All the videos you need, easy tutorials. Thanks so much. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon.